Hi, my name is Suyoung Lee, a faculty member of the Graduate School of International Studies at Seoul National University. You are watching the last part of my video orientation about practical tips. One thing you should remember is your health, both mental and physical, is the most important priority. Other things like your thesis and career goals come next. Eat well, exercise, and make friends. Pursuing an advanced academic degree often makes people sit alone in the library or cubicle a very long time. This practice is really dangerous. Don't be alone. Make sure that you have friends at school to talk about what you do, hear what they do, and so on. Regarding making friends, you will find a very diverse group of young adults from all around the world at the Jesus. We do have a wide selection of undergraduate majors among our students, and many of our students do have work experiences. In addition, close to 50% of our students are non-Koreans. That said, you will find a lot of interesting people who you wouldn't meet outside of the Jesus in your regular friends group. By interacting people from different backgrounds, you will get to know others, but more importantly, you will get to know who you are and what strength you have. Second, actively form your support group. By support group, I mean a peer group consisting of your friends at the Jesus. Make sure that the group members help one another professionally and personally. Even if you do nothing but have a weekly Zoom meeting to talk about what you did last week, that activity will be a great stress reliever. Do not underestimate the importance of the peer group. Third, search for official help and resources provided by the Jesus and the Seoul National University. Here is a list of some centers you will want to check out. Assuming that you are healthy and ready to work, the first thing I want you to do is to have a good and honest conversation with yourself. What do you really want to do for your career? Why do you want that career? Is your choice based on fear or convenience? Or is it based on your genuine interest and your experience? If your answer is fear or convenience, then I hate to tell you that you are in trouble. I assure you there is no career path that is easy to achieve, pays you well, and at the same time gives you a lifelong employment. There is none, zero. If you think your career choices as such, it is very likely that you have gotten wrong information about that career track. I have met various students who wanted to go to the US for the degree or wanted to pursue other path that South Koreans generally envy. I then asked them further about why do they want that particular career path or what they thought they would do once they were in that dream career path. Why the managers at the career path should hire them instead of others and so on. After this series of questions, many of those students I met realized that they had formed their career goals based on their imagination without checking the reality with objective information. So make sure that you treat yourself with respect and honesty and find out what you want. That is the first step. Step number two, identify the hurdles you face. For example, why couldn't you achieve that career goal with your undergrad degree? Did you fix the problems that you had that prevent you from achieving that your goal? How does this MA degree from the Jesus help you achieve that goal? And another set of exercise I find very useful is to put yourself into your client's position. So for example, suppose you are the CEO of the very company you currently want to work for. Would you hire the current version of you? What is the merit of hiring you instead of another candidate? What values can you uniquely add to the company? Is there any objective evidence to support your claim? Is there any expert who has worked with you and is willing to vouch for you? Answering any of these questions should not be easy, but that is exactly what you need to do to get the job you want. Spend your time wisely so that by the time you graduate from the Jesus, you are ready to give answers to those questions. The very last part is about your relationship with your thesis advisor. And here are a few things you have to know. As you have seen from my video part B, thesis advising requires a substantial amount of work. As a result, 
A professor will accept a student as an advisee only if he or she knows that student well enough and he or she thinks that that student will be able to write a paper within a reasonable time window. So please do not send emails to professors asking for advisorship if the professors do not know you. Relatedly, I have seen some people who finished their coursework a very long time ago and currently have a full-time job but want to write a thesis. Realistically speaking, it is unlikely for that person to write a paper. As I said before, if you want to get the degree, write the thesis in two years of your stay at the GCS and do not postpone it. If you think you can, you are fooling yourself, making yourself miserable, and dragging your advisor down along with you. Don't do that. Again, find a professor whose research interest and expertise are in line with your career interest. Then your advisor will be able to help you identify research areas and even maybe give you research questions for your thesis. Your advisor will be able to point you out the existing studies directly related to your thesis. And also, if you face troubles in terms of, say, your regression models, your advisor will be able to help you resolve those troubles. So update your status regularly so that your advisors can keep track of your progress and take action if needed. You need to remember that your advisor is not a private tutor at your disposal. In other words, your advisor will not push you to write the thesis to get you the degree. If you are slow in making progress and cannot write a thesis within a reasonable time, your advisor will give up on advising you even if he or she does not say it to you. So do not naively assume that you can find a professor to be your advisor and that person will babysit you to get the degree. You are an adult who can make choices for yourself and you and you alone will face the consequences of your choices. Please think carefully about what you want and take actions accordingly. Make the most of your stay at the Jesus and finally, good luck. Thank you.